These are the frequently asked questions for pre-calculus, and this is for section 5.3, day one. Uh, in exercises 23 to 30, it says prove the identity. So what I want to start off with here is the left-hand side, because we have a really great formula that will take us through that. And that would be our formula for the sum of uh, two sine angles here. We've got sine of x plus pi over 6. The formula for sine has the pattern of sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And then whatever the sine is that's between the two angles that we want to add together, we're going to go ahead and keep that sine. And that happens with sine, but not with cosine. Now, we need to do this for x and pi over 6. And pi over 6 happens to be 30 degrees, so the easiest way to get what you need for that would just be to quickly draw that right triangle, 30, 60, 90 right triangle. And we'll notice cosine being adjacent over a hypotenuse for 30 degrees would give us the square root of 3 over 2. And we also use the sine of pi over 6, which would be opposite over hypotenuse, which would be 1 half. So if you're, you're not remembering your unit circle, you can always make a quick sketch of your 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90. But this, of course, will be the square root of 3 over 2 sine of x plus 1 half cosine of x. And that is what they wanted us to prove. So nice formula that led us exactly where we needed to go. Number 47 is similar. And that what we're going to do is we're going to start with the left-hand side, and we're going to use the formulas for the sum and difference of the sine function in order to figure out what we have left. So sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And that is the pattern for the sine function for the sum and the difference. And then what we do is we go back and say, all right, well, it had subtraction in the first one, so this one's going to have subtraction. And we need an x, then a y, and an x, then a y. Now, what we are supposed to do is add that to the sine of x plus y. So it's sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And I'm probably going to run a little short space here. And this time we have addition in the second set of parentheses, so we'll put addition right in there because, again, with the sine function, we always keep the sine. And then it's going to be x and y and x and y. So we see what we have here, and we take a peek and we say we have sine of x cosine of y minus cosine of x sine of y plus sine of x cosine of y plus cosine of x sine of y. And it shouldn't have escaped everybody that we have 1 with subtraction here. So we have a negative cosine x sine of y and a plus cosine x sine of y. So that leaves us with sine of x cosine y plus sine of x cosine y. And if you didn't catch it before, you notice, wait a minute, those are like terms. We can go ahead and add those. So if we have one of them and we add another one, now we have two. So it will be 2 sine of x cosine of y. And that is exactly what we were supposed to get to match the right-hand side. 